everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about one of the most awaited bag a classic bag that has been reinvented and i'm talking about the never fall inside out a lot of you has been waiting for it so here it is if you're new to the channel, my name is Murphy and currently as I'm recording this video, I'm a sales advisor here in Louis Vuitton Singapore and this channel is all about Louis Vuitton product, Louis Vuitton item, luxury brands in general. And this channel is also to help you decide on your luxury purchases through videos like this one. So please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you find this channel very helpful for you. Before I start this video, I would like to play a game. I would like you to guess which one is the new Neverfull MM Inside Out. This is my colleague Rashid holding both sides. And can you guess which one is the new Inside Out Neverfull? And the answer is the left side and if you have thought it correct then yeah there's really not much difference uh, within the classic one and this one and I will give you more details about it but for now let's get started this is going to be a long video okay so never fall inside out from the word itself you know what's happening here if you have been updated with the social media or if you have been following my Instagram you know that Neverfull the classic Neverfull bag which is this one has came up with the version that you can turn it inside out from the word itself you can literally turn it like this I will show you how it's done later but both sides you can use so that makes it more practical and more charming and more to life than the normal never full bags so uh, watch until the end because i'm gonna talk about the sizes the differences with the old model how it looks like on both sides and how you turn it how it looks like when it's worn different looks in all sizes uh, colors available and i will tell you my personal opinion about it if it's worth getting it now let's start with the material there are two types of material for this collection first is the canvas the canvas is of course the normal normal canvas if you will look at it from the outside it just looks like the normal canvas that you can do by uh, over the years as a never full bag and now you can turn it inside out and use the lining as the outer bag to make it look like a new bag and the other material is the leather the leather is a grainy grainy leather is almost like the leather that you use for new hobo so this product is just in line with the quiet luxury scene if you turn it to the leather side and for the other side is the canvas so you can still get the canvas in this you have both leather and canvas and for the leather you have two sizes which is the mm and the bb the canvas does not have the bb unfortunately canvas has three colors actually there were four but in singapore we only bring in the three colors first is the pink which is hot pink second is the rouge sari which is like red red we called it cerise for quite some time but they changed it it's called rouge sari now and the saffron which is my favorite i love yellow if you know me personally and if you've been watching this video i'm always very biased to yellow it looks good on my skin so the other one is the june saffron jean i don't know how it's how it's spelled how it's pronounced it's j-a-u-n-e saffron i know what a saffron looks like so it looks like a saffron yellow if you have to imagine it in your head for the leather uh it comes with black and uh, kenyan fob it is the brown color and uh, there is a pink in the catalog but i am not sure if we are bringing it in singapore uh we will find out but yeah for this we have the uh, brown and the black in our store and for the bb we have the black dark fango which is in gray color and the rose pon pondelieri pondelieri which is the hot pink now let me just show you i know you've been waiting for this how it looks like when it's turned we will start with the canvas i am here with rashid to show you how it looks like when it's turned inside out so uh, this is him trying to turn it inside out it's a little bit struggle struggle but it is uh, flimsy enough uh, soft enough to uh, turn it inside out uh, easily and this is how it looks like when it's turned inside out this way it actually looks pretty cute if you're going for a summer holiday it is uh, a good thing <laughs> Rashid is so funny 
So uh, one thing that they add up with this never fold inside out is the strap. It kind of solve the problem that I have with my Neverfull MM. You know that I have Neverfull MM if you've been watching this video for quite some time. And that's my go-to travel bag or carry-on bag when I travel. But I always complain about the thin strap that hurts my shoulder. So this time they come up with the thick strap that you can attach on the side, which is a... I think it's a plus point so on the side you can hang it this way and this is how it looks like when it's worn this way it, the <laughs> sorry this shit just makes me laugh so the way it was worn and on the shoulder is actually perfect because it's not an adjustable strap but it is a good size even if for my height maybe i will attach a picture of me wearing it on my shoulder but it is a good size even if you wear it as a crossbody it doesn't look very nice if you, if you use it as a crossbody because it's quite big but who cares if you're running at the airport and you have uh, a lot of things to carry you don't care about fashion anymore for day to day just wear it as a shoulder carry if you want to look fashionable but crossbody you have to be a little bit taller to carry that I'm short and I can carry a Neverfull MM as a crossbody bag. So uh, I'm going to show you as well how to make it look like a hobo. So uh, with the with the old um, Neverfull MM, you can actually fold it on the side, but you only have those, you know, the straps on the side to make it look like a hobo to lock it, and it always just go the other way. Like it just always opens up, so it doesn't hold it. But the good thing about this is that this comes with the uh snap hook the snap hook will not give in and it will hold that fold on the side so if you want to make it into a hobo bag while on the other side it just looks so perfect so yeah that is one plus point of it now you see that is all the features that you have for the neverfull mm in canvas the leather would be a completely different uh story because the mm first of all does not have the strap which i love about the canvas so the never full uh mm will be shown again by my very perfect colleague rashid and please if you are in the store and you manage to see him please hello he's been a very big help for my channel because he's the only one most of the time willing to help me whenever i need to do a b-roll which is the the videos that i'm doing in my channel he's the only one that is like 100 willing to always do it for me and i'm very grateful for him so please say hello to him if you see him in the store okay moving on so this is the never full mm when it's turned in the leather uh part so as you see the the pouch is hanging outside you can remove it you can use it separately but this is how it looks like he will um show you how it was how it looks like when it's turned into like a hobo bag it also have that snap hook and this is how it looks like i kind of like it when it look when it's shaped as a hobo bag it just looks so minimal i love how a uh, minimalist bag looks like but then again as i say if you love monogram there's nothing wrong with that i've been working with louis vuitton for seven years so maybe i'm just tired of the monogram already i love plain leather it just looks so elegant and this is how he turned it inside out it is a little bit struggle compared to the canvas because you know leather is a little bit more sturdy so yeah please give him some time to do that this is how it looks like when it's turned inside out so you still get the, the, the leather uh, look and uh, you can hang that uh, pouch on top of it that's how the total look is i actually love it it is a very nice bag it is um like you get the best of both worlds the neverfull and the minimalist leather but um the thing is that i would love to have the strap on it the strap is a thick strap that you can use if you don't want your shoulder to hurt in a thin strap and um yeah it's almost perfect to me except for why wouldn't they put the strap uh honestly i don't i don't have an answer to it and uh, i'm gonna tell you my personal opinion later on which bag you should get depends on your lifestyle but let's move on first to the never full bb okay never full bb is also a very charming bag and it comes with a short strap um this is rashid uh showing you what what's inside and with a pouch and how will you get gonna put the pouch on top uh 
a little bit of a struggle and uh, the strap and uh, yeah slowly he's showing you how to attach the strap this strap is also not adjustable but um, I would say that it is a good size for a petite lady like me Rashid is definitely taller than me so on a shoulder carry part it still looks good on him but I think uh, I thought it might be too long for me but what i did is i tried it my way as a crossbody crossbody is a perfect size it's just right on my hips so it's good um but a shoulder carry it will be too long and then again this uh and then let me just show you how it is done as a uh, bucket bag so you can hook it together it's almost like the bella the bella bag but it is uh, more minimalistic because it doesn't have the uh, the monogram print on it. And it just looks so cute. It kind of looks like a Picotine Hermes bag without that pouch. But you can it's, it's up to you if you want to attach that pouch. And of course, let me show you how to turn it inside out. Smaller, so it is more of a struggle on turning it inside out but of course over time because it's, it's a first it's it's a new thing to us as well i'm sure you, we can get the hang of it to turn it inside out very fast but and very easily but for now yeah this is how he turned it and it's absolutely uh, absolutely cute as well when it's turned into a canvas bag and yeah you can also turn it into a bucket bag and um, so yeah that's how it looks like overall all the features of it i hope um i give you satisfaction of seeing how it's turned as a uh, inside out bag now let's discuss the price the price for a canvas mm is 3400 as i'm recording this video i am recording this in september 20. Is today 20 yes so 3400 for the mm inside out bag versus the normal uh, canvas Neverfull MM is 2850. There's a 550 difference. Uh, I will let you know later how I feel about it, but let's move on to the leather price first. It's priced as 4200 as to normal uh, non inside out uh, leather Neverfull MM is 3800 with a difference of 4000 Singapore dollars. And the last, last but not least, is the BB. It's 3500 Singapore dollars versus 3350 for the canvas uh, Neverfull BB uh, with a difference of only 150 Singapore dollars. Now, I was expecting before this has been uh, shown to us, I was expecting uh, about a thousand difference with all the bags, but honestly, I think that the price difference is kind of reasonable with the uh, with the features that you can do and the things that, that you can do with this bag the only thing is that uh if you were asked if you're going to ask me which one is my favorite it's definitely should be the, the leather mm because you know i love leather minimalist bag but i absolutely love the leather feature of the canvas so i'm kind of torn between the two because you see the difference of price if you're price conscious and if you're just gonna think about it 550 for a strap is almost like buying a new strap and sometimes our strap price is more than that so having it turned inside out you can wear it two ways plus the strap is absolutely worth it so for the leather it's 400 dollars difference the only difference that you will get is of course the snap hook on the side plus the it turning into canvas and the leather if you're both into quiet luxury and sometimes you want to show off a little bit of monogram this is this could be perfect and uh, i would say that the leather use for this inside out leather uh, bag is more and feels like a higher quality than the ompron leather use for the normal never full mm with the uh embossed monogram so i think 400 dollars it doesn't hurt so much if you want both leather and canvas never full and you can only get one because if you're gonna get both you're gonna spend more than 4200 now with a bb with 150 dollars difference it's absolutely worth it like come on this is 
150 you really have to just get the inside out because you can have both you still have the canvas version of the bag plus the strap and for people who doesn't like the the canvas strap the the jacket strap i mean the guitar strap as people uh called it then this would be perfect for you if you don't have the never full bag yet yes i would suggest to get any of this than the normal never full but if you already have it unless you're having a problem with the uh, strap thin strap as much as i am complaining about it then uh, go for it but to be honest there's not much difference for the canvas inside out if you want to look off the inside which is the lining using it as a bag the only difference is the uh, never full on the side the snap hook and the trimming underneath is in leather and the other one is in fabric so it's not very durable if you're going to turn your bag inside out as to the normal uh, never full mm bag so i think it just depends on uh, your need and your want if you really like to if you already have your Neverfull, if you really want to upgrade, but I, I wouldn't suggest to have both because they're the look really is it's really the same. So uh, it's either upgrade or if you don't have the Neverfull yet, then the perfect Neverfull just uh, just came along, and uh, you need to see it. You need to feel the material. Uh, for me, the leather of course is more worth it, but then again, this the additional strap is for the MM size is a good uh, value as well so um, it depends on your need my suggestion is really for you to go to the store and try it feel it and and ask yourself if it suits your lifestyle and your needs um, now i'm recording in 22 minutes and it's getting long so i need to cut this now if you have any more questions and if i missed any uh, information that i need to please just comment down below i will try to answer them as much as i can and uh, i will see you on my next video i will upload this as fast as i can so all of you will be informed before it's launched so yeah i will see you on my next video uh it's now open for order for some store um you can also contact me if you'd like if you're interested in this bag my phone number my whatsapp number will be down below or if you can follow me on instagram and you can uh, find my whatsapp number there too i will be happy to answer all your inquiries about this bag for now, I will say goodbye and because I need to cook for my husband, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Bye.